So now we know what we should be doing in snowplow turns and the key fundamentals, we're now going to talk about the common mistakes that people make when we are trying to learn snowplow turns. Now during these basic snowplow turns, as we spoke about, the key thing is to maintain that snowplow shape and the snowplow posture. One of the main things that people do wrong is as soon as they start turning and you give them a new movement, that snowplow disappears. So what happens is their skis start to straighten up and out of that snowplow shape, so they lose the gap at the front, it gets wider and wider, so as they then try and turn one way another, they just slide really fast down the slope instead of maintaining and slowing themselves down with that snowplow and doing that turning and rotation movement at the same time and changing that pressure to go across the slope. That means they don't get the correct turn shape, they don't turn across the slope, and it means that their turns aren't as effective as they should. One of the next mistakes we commonly see is that people are trying to push their foot too hard or trying to push their foot too quickly instead of making gradual movement. So they'll go really quick movement, really quick movement when they're trying to make the turns or try and press down and make those movements really erratic, therefore not gradually changing from one side to the other and therefore not making nice and gradual turns. One of the other main key problems that we commonly see is that when you tell people that they want to turn left most people will lean the way that they want to go so if they do say go left and when we should be pushing down on our right foot and our right side they will actually lean over to their left side if you tell them to lean and go over to the right side and turn to the right side they should be using that left foot and use the opposite foot and that downhill outside ski whereas actually people lean in towards the slope now that's what they're leaning on that inside skiing. We don't want to do this. This will mean that they won't be able to turn as effectively and they won't be able to move across the slope in the way that we want to. Snowplow turning comes from that outside foot and that outside ski. And it's really key for your journey going forwards that you're turning and using the outside ski to turn, whether that's snowplow or further down the line when you're in parallel, the outside ski is key.